Welcome back, electricians of rust. Here we are to discuss the advantages and disadvantages of bridge versus splitter. Neither one of these is better than the other. They are just simply needed for different circumstances and you'll get the most out of them. There are pros and cons to each, but depending on the circumstance, that's why either one of them is better suited for certain situations. The branch, its biggest pro is that you can tailor exactly what power comes out of this branch here. So if you've got one turret coming out of this, you can set this to 10 like that, and that's what it's gonna use, plus one for the uh, branch usually, or and any other component is, is using one each, switches, etc. So that might seem perfect, but here's the problem with that, and I'll demonstrate it in this little setup I've got here. So we've got two heaters, three, six power, seven for this little light and one for the switch so we'll set that to eight turn it on that will light up lovely let's just check what's coming out of our battery active usage nine okay as expected however turn this power off let's save some battery you might say still active usage of nine and that is the branch's biggest failing even though you're drawing nothing off this, because that's set to nine, sorry, eight, plus itself, it's it uses the power. If I set this for 20 and even disconnect that cable, so nothing is drawing using 21, draining your battery unnecessarily. So that is its biggest disadvantage. This is the overflow, so you can connect to more branches and uh, set them up as you want. But if you're just using, if you if you've got a power requirement that's always on, like turrets or lights for a farm, then it's definitely your best option because you can set exactly what they need. That's what's going to drain from your battery, always on, not a problem. But if you're switching things off and on, you're going to be burning power whether it's on or off, so it's pointless. Whereas a splitter. Its biggest pro is that it doesn't do that. But it will split everything evenly. So that said, I'm using one that's literally been used as a bit of cable. One used for the splitter. This is off that switch at the moment. You can see just using two power. Active usage of two. Turn it on. All this lights up. Active, active usage of 10 as you would expect and what I think a lot of people assume the switch will also uh, so the branch will also do the downside of the splitter is if I connect another one it will then evenly split the power between both of these outputs so now you've got 24 in each one you're not burning 24 from your battery but that's the maximum you're going to get out of that the same if I use the last one as well, it'll split it three ways. So you've got 16 on each one. Now it's not using 16 on each one, it'll be using eight here, it'll be using nine there, and uh, 10 there. Sorry, 13. So it's much more efficient. It's only using 13 power, but the limitation is you cannot section off more power to this one if you wanted it. Let's say you won't want to add another 10 heaters or a turret on the end of this, you can't do it. So you're wasting effectively power that's unused or untapped. So it's less flexible than the branch, but it doesn't waste power draw from your battery. And that is the pros and cons. Um, so use them for your needs specifically and you'll get a lot more out of your circuitry and battery life. Thanks for popping into my little scrapyard, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.